The thing is, the Radiohead fans, um, and this isn't all Radiohead fans, but those kind of fans who would jump on and say, you're wrong, you don't get it, and who are really uh, aggressive with it, often, and I'm going to say this, and I, I might get a lot of hate from this, but they all think Radiohead are the best band ever, and yeah. the Radiohead are the only band ever, yeah. and they don't really listen to much outside of Radiohead that's interesting. This is a very interesting album this week. Uh, obviously, uh, you've got to know you've been given one of the big ones here. Yeah. Um, this is one of the you know, biggest bands in the world, have yeah. been for a very long time. I think with a band that are this big, everyone's got their own relationship with them, even if they don't like them, because it's unavoidable. You have said... You like McFly. You have labelled your own taste as diabolical. Now, I want to say straight out the gate, Rosie, I don't think there's such a thing as diabolical music taste. I think your music taste is not wrong. I think it's great that you like McFly. There's mm. nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Nothing. They're not a lesser band than any of the others out there. What do you think of Radiohead? What has your relationship with Radiohead been like in the past? So, my relationship with Radiohead is like, Beginner level. Yeah. I like them. It's someone said, What do you think of them? Um, I go, Yeah, I like Radiohead. And then they go, What's your favourite <laughs> album? And I go, ah, <laughs> uh, OK Computer. Uh -huh. And that's it. Like, Entry level with music. I get locked on to one song mm. and I will listen to that one song over and over again nice. for about two months. <laughs> We're talking like ten times a day. So, one of the songs I got locked on to was um, Fake Plastic Trees. Right, yeah. Because it's a classic and a thrill. I don't know what was going on in my life. Probably a fan said a hot girl and she didn't fancy me back. Yep. Classic. Perfect Radiohead music. It. Yeah, perfect Radiohead situation. Yeah. And just and every time I'd walk anywhere, it would be paint plastic treat in my head. <laughs> so, yeah. Very entry level. I know creep. I love high and dry. But actually, all of these songs were new to me. So we're kind of coming from the same place, really, because this is what's interesting about the Radiohead thing, is that I'm the same. I've always found it too intimidating to get into Radiohead. <laughs> there are so many big Radiohead albums... And all of them are meant to be classics. All of them are meant to be these seminal albums, so important. Yeah. And I just never knew where to start. But I like that. And it's right. And I feel the same. About once a year I go, I need to get into them. But their fans are so hardcore. Yeah. They intimidate me to a level like I've already prepared myself for hate yeah. over this episode mm -hmm. because I know that whatever I say, hardcore fans will go, you're wrong. For you as a Radiohead fans... Um, and this isn't all Radiohead fans, but those kind of fans who would jump on and say, you're wrong, you don't get it, and who are really uh, aggressive with it. Often, and I'm going to say this, and I, I might get a lot of hate from this, but they all think Radiohead are the best band ever, and yeah. the Radiohead are the only band ever. Yeah. And they don't really 
listen to much outside of Radiohead that's interesting. Yeah. Like they, they actually just have like this one amazing band that they like. They're like fans of Stuart Lee. Mm-hmm. Who are they, they have one <laughs> one big thing they like. And because it's such a kind of like connoisseur thing to enjoy, they're like, well, therefore, if I get Radiohead, I get all music and I don't need to yeah. listen to anything else outside yeah. of that. And I'm going to tell everyone if they don't get it, they're thick. And they're yeah. the worst kind of music fans. So yeah. I don't care. You were so right, and Stuart Lee is a perfect comparison because I think both Stuart and Radio had are incredible. Like, what they're saying is right, but then I'm always like, you need comparisons and there is a way to enjoy Stuart or Radiohead and then go, oh, they're okay too. <laughs> so what I'm saying, Radiohead fans, stop being kids <laughs> and just widen your own horizons have you ever heard of Matt Fly <laughs> <laughs> perfect message for the podcast I'd say absolutely perfect BBC Sounds Music Radio Podcasts